Hello and good morning. Today is Saturday, March 26, 2022. We are into a weekend, but we are going to discuss the view on the Nifty uh, applicable for Monday. Monday would be March 28 and of course, if possible, for the next few days. Uh, I have been explaining to you using charts as well as my verbal communication that the Nifty has entered into a trading range. Inside a trading range, it's very difficult to trade because you don't know at what level prices will retreat and at what level they will begin going up. Therefore, I try to look at the trend prior to the trading range and then say, okay, if the trading range has developed after a large up move, then I am a buyer in dips even inside the range. But I would expect small profits, so preferably I would take intraday trades and not carry forward positions. That's my view. It doesn't mean my view is the world view. It simply means it's my view. That's how I trade. I did get a comment saying that there is no such thing as a trading range and the gentleman is right and he said that I uh, take hedged positions. I'm assuming in options and uh, I do well irrespective of uh, the market movement. And uh, he's quite right. There are so many ways of trading in any market and especially in a market a liquid market like the Nifty, which has futures, cash ETFs and options to manage your own trading style. So it's possible. I would like to point out that if you take hedged positions and the markets are going up as they were from 15,600 to 17,400, it, it requires a significant amount of management in that point. And the hedged positions make money for the last six days because the market is going nowhere. So selling options becomes profitable. So even for an options trader or who is selling, uh, uh, let's say credit spreads or making hedge positions, it's important to understand if the market is going up, it's going down or it's going sideways because your strategies and your option strike prices should change depending on this view. So I continue to take the view that markets in a trading range give me very valuable information. So I am now taking, assuming that we are, have support at 17,100, resistance at 17,350. Inside this zone, I am a buyer on dips. Once the markets break out on the upside or the downside, we will go with the flow, which essentially means go with the trend. I am not making any calls on where the markets will break out. Let the market decide. We'll have a look at the nifty chart, which will give us the same view except on the chart. Have a good weekend. Trade wisely and intelligently. Enjoy yourself. Jai Hind. This is the Nifty daily chart and uh, most uh, viewers will clearly understand that this is a candlestick chart. These are black candles. These are white candles. Let's look at the current position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The Nifty has been moving sideways for 6 days now. This is a trading range. Now here, when the Nifty made this bullish pattern and had a gap up, if we started selling any kind of hedged calls, we would not be comfortable. But here, the story is different. So to my understanding, it is necessary to be aware of the trend or the no trend situation of the market. Now there is nothing much to say here. This is 17,100, this is 17,350. The Nifty moves inside this range, I buy on dips. To buy on dips, I have to use 5 minute charts. I am not very comfortable with it, but that's the only way we can catch intraday moves. Uh, usually, my charts are 30 minute charts. This is an answer to a question that did come. But whatever. Now, the big move will come if the nifty breaks this or if the nifty breaks this. We will wait patiently. Till then, we take these intraday moves on the long side and get whatever we can. Thank you for watching this. Jai Hind.